tell you what I am as excited as Bardwell on a pig farm with a patreon account I am just you could not this is awesome I got a new flight controller today that I wanted to go over with you I've looked at some reviews on Amazon not Amazon poo the YouTube and uh, eh, I didn't see a lot of great ones so I haven't even used it yet but I'm, I'm gonna go over it it's not really a review I'm just gonna kind of go over this thing this is the helio spring I am you F where do they get these names? I mean, can't they just name it carburetor or something fucking easy? But no, it's the Helio Spring IMUF. Okay, whatever. All right, so it comes with the four grommets, the ice amounts, all right? And it's got the little cable, the dingly dingly that goes into your ESC and all that good stuff. But here is the actual board, okay? We're going to go over this in, in a little bit greater detail here, but I'm going to use... I, I, I don't like just pointing out little things because you can't see that writing on there. That's like... Yeah, I mean, you can, but it's hard. So we're going to go over the uh, screenshot of this. But the reason I think this is going to be really cool, and a guy on my channel actually turned me on to this. He, uh, he's like, dude, you got to try this. You don't even have to tune your pits. It's like, bam. The reason it is that way is it has two processors built into it. It has an F3 and an F4. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, and it's the same price as a Fortini F4, which is what I use. Or even the same price as a CL Racing, if I remember right. Um, 39 bucks, And uh, you can get it from RMRC. You can get it from a bunch of places. I'll put a couple links in the descriptions. But he said this thing. I watched it. <clears throat> excuse me. I watched a few of his videos. The dude just, I mean, he's a fantastic pilot. But he uh, swears by this board. And he's like, dude, you've got to try one. It's like, all right, bam. So I ordered one. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like a freaking race flight board, you know. But it has an F3 and an F4 true 32 kilohertz processing without overclocking and i i haven't set this up yet but oh and it also comes preloaded with butterfly which i think is just stellar right so one of the things i did test before i came out here to do this was i set it on 3232 and reboot save reboot and it came up at 30 percent cpu usage and that's without overclocking Bam! And he said, dude, the thing, I've seen this guy fly stock, and I'll, I'll try to put his link up here, um, or in the description. I'm, I'm, his page is failing me, but uh, I've only talked to him a couple times, but he's like, you don't even have to tune your shit, man. This shit says, bam, forget about it. So, we're going to go over this real quick. So, like I said, the IMU is an ICM2601. Whatever, nobody cares about that. It's got full OSD. Motor outputs, full D-shot, multi-shot support, receivers, PPM, nobody uses, S-Bus, uh, nobody uses PPM. It's got S-Bus, obviously, DSM, HOTT, HOT, uh, blah, 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 F-Port ready, 5-volt or 3.3. So you Spectrum guys out there can use this as well. Telemetry support, uh, FR Sky Smart Port, FR Sky Sensor Hub, HOT Telemetry has all that good stuff. I'm at, yeah, I am reading. I didn't memorize all this shit. 5 full UARTs serial ports. So you have five on here, which is pretty fucking cool. UART 1 and 2 have inverters for SBUS and smart port telemetry. It's got a buzzer port, dedicated port, blah, 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 blah. We don't care about that. Um, blah, let's see, what else is there? VBAT up to 6S. So you can run this baby with a 6S, which is really cool, uh, with a regulator of 2.5 amps, continuous 3.2 burst, um, five volt switchable with jumper pads. Let's see what else. Am I missing anything? Uh, let's see. It comes with butterfly. I already said that. True 32K processing, which is true. I did test it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So it has an F3 and an F4. So basically what that means is you have one processor that is handling just your, your gyro and all your mathematical specs or what we call math coprocessing and another one for all the other gear, which is like frickin' bad to the bone. And it's cheap, okay? Very cool. So let's go over this real quick. Where's my pointer? I ain't got no pointer. There's a pointer, okay. Let's see what we got here. So here's your camera control. 
I don't know if you guys can be able to see any of this stuff, but here's your pads right here. Uh, TBS Unified, which is what they're showing. Okay, so there's your video in, video out. We get that. ESCs. So our ESC signal pads, interestingly enough, are on these little humps here, which is kind of interesting. Is that right? Let me double check that before I go all talking out my ass. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, so and there's your lipo power. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, pretty, pretty freaking cool. What I really want to know, I mean, this, this all makes sense. TBS Micro RX Crossfire, receiver crossfire. Uh, your LiPo impul input voltage goes here. Uh, looks like we have gold-plated, a bunch of gold-plated stuff, which is pretty nice. Dual M MCUs, more power than an F7, which is true. An F432 main and an F3 processor for filtering only. Butterflight OSD, which same thing as anything else. Uh, gyroscope IMU 2601 yeah you can use all five all five volt pads ports additional hardware but be aware that the current is limited to 2000 milliamps or 2 amps okay so very very cool we got boot pads which is interesting you've got boot pads for each one interesting with that I, this is the first time I've really kind of gone in over at four and one port bridges. I mean, this thing's loaded, but what we really care about a lot here is this port right here. So there's motor four, motor three, motor two, motor one. Thank you for putting them in order. I just did an FC the other day where it's like motor one, motor three, motor two, motor four. It's like, really? Come on. Five volt or no connection, ground, current or telemetry on UART four and battery voltage coming in. So bam, there you go. Uh, I'm pumped. I cannot wait to try this FC out. I think it's going to be just fucking stellar. Here's the bird I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in one of my favorite headhunters, which is rocking out. This is my color changing uh, Mocha Simplex Pro. Uh, what are we rocking in here right now? CL, looks like a CL Racing F4 and 35 amp BL Heli S ESC. And I'm running the Returner R6 Special Editions bad to the bone. So I'm going to yank that CL Racing F4 out of there and I'm going to slap this guy in there and uh, we're going to see what she does. So once I do that, I'm going to do full flight videos for you and uh, so you can see what's going on. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description to a couple places where you can get this. Um, I got mine from Flight Club. I did not get mine from RMRC. I like Flight Club. I like RMRC too. They're in Ohio. Probably made more, made more sense. But either way, there you go. If you have any questions, ask me. I don't know anything about it yet, really, except for what I just read. Um, but I'm going to put stock PIDs in there. Um, Butterflight with the Kalman filters, all that stuff. Cayman, whatever you call it. And we're gonna, we're just gonna flip this bitch around and 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 see what happens. So, till next time, kiddos. Keep the shine side up. Bye. Ugh. Ugh. Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing. Bam, JJ! Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing!